So today I'm going to show y'all how to do my sunflower washcloth. And I just posted the picture in a crochet group and y'all went crazy over it. I had like over 600 something people liking it. I don't know how many of y'all asked me for the pattern. And I had wrote it down and I was planning on doing that. I just hadn't got around to it. Yeah, I just want to see what y'all thought about this so far. And y'all loved it. Everybody's like, I want to make some flowers. I've got to have the pattern. Everybody's like, pattern, pattern, pattern. I'm like, okay, I'll have it this weekend. Just, you know, I was what to do tutorial because I want to show y'all how I sewed the um, petals on. And I sewed them together up here. So they kind of make them where they're more of a sturdy washcloth. So they don't just like flop. So it's a sturdier washcloth. And y'all understand what I mean when I get there. But I just want to show you how I done that and stuff. And just show y'all step by step how I done it. I'm using, um, I love this cotton and brown. And this yellow color is called Curie. So if y'all use that or any cotton yarn would work in the brown and yellow color. So but... And you could even do it in different colors. I think that'd be neat to do different color flowers. But I thought a sunflower was pretty and summery. And I don't know if everybody went crazy over it because it's May. And everybody's like, we've got to have, you know, flowers. You know, everybody's like, it's too pretty to use. I'm like, it is. But it makes pretty decoration and different things. So anyway, we'll get started. So, and I'm using a five and a five, five and a half boy hook for... <coughs> this so so I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook which is an eye hook y'all need that and we're gonna start with our brown yarn so we'll start with the center of the sunflower and what you're gonna do is you're going to and um, round one's going to be six single crochet in a magic circle so I'm gonna make a magic circle and I'm pretty much just gonna kind of wrap you're gonna take it you can kind of twist it up and make a circle. I always put my tail to the back side. So you kind of have it just sitting here like this. I'll sit down so you can see. see. So see. So you can take it pretty much and just wrap your little loop like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this under and grab that yarn like that. And then I'm just going to pull it and I will um, single crochet one to kind of make it stay just like that. So now I'm going to do, um, I mean chain one, sorry. So now I'm going to a six single crochet in the circle. Right here. Bye. One more to me. I just gotta start tying it to make it lay. Set right. And then there's six. And then you're gonna pull it. Shut. So then you have a little ring like that. So round two, you're going to single crochet in each stitch. And if so, and if you want to, you can go ahead and place a stitch marker in that first stitch so we don't lose where we're at. We're just going to continue to two in each stitch. And we'll have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so we should have 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we're at 12. It's row 2. So row 3 is going to single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that around. So we're going to do one in the first stitch. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in there. I will lose my spot. And then two in the next. One. 
one single crochet and then two in the next stitch and just do that all the way around one in the next stitch two in the next there we are and when you get down this round you should have 18 stitches And I'll make sure I'll put the link down to the pattern on my blog that uh, if y'all want the written pattern so y'all can see that to make sure and stuff. Okay, and two, and now we should have 18 stitches, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Okay, so now round four. Is single crochet in two stitches and then two single crochet in the next and you want to do that all the way around so one two one two and put it back in the first stitch then two single crochet in this stitch we want to do one two and then we want to do two in this stitch one two that stitch Just keep doing that all the way around One, two, two in this stitch. And keep going. And when we get done with this, we should have 24 stitches. We should have 24 stitches. Count. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four. Okay, so we've got twenty-four stitches. We said it's gonna be more rounds for the middle. So round five is we're going to seal crochet in three stitches and then two seal crochet in the next. And we're just gonna repeat that around all the way to get back to your First stitch, the three, two in the next. So, seal crochet in three stitches, two in the next. Repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet y'all guys back here because I think y'all got it. So, there's the end of round five, and you should have 30 stitches around. Um, and we're fixing to round six. And round six is going to be a little bit different than what we're doing because if you'll see, it's trying to kind of make like sides, like. Um, six sides, so I guess it'd be a hexagon. So it's trying to do the sides, and what we we'll do is round six is gonna be a little bit different to kind of make it smooth out to a circle. So this is the last round for your sunflower. So let's do that. Round six, you seal crochet in the first stitch. First stitch marker away. In the first stitch, I'm gonna put my stitch marker back. Single crochet in that first stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet in the next. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in four stitches, single crochet in two stitches. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to do two. Everyone do that again. We're going to keep doing the seal crochet in four and then do two seal crochet in the next until we get our last three stitches. So we'll do that all the way around. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do two. One, two, three, four, or two, one, two, three, four. 
four. Four yarn. Okay, we'll do two. One, two, three, four. We're going to do two. And then we got three stitches left. So our last three stitches, we're going to do single crochet and the next three stitches and slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. So we're just going to single crochet. And then we'll take my stitch marker out. And we're just going to slip stitch right there. And then you can cut your yarn and pull your tail through. And that is your middle of your sunflower. And that part is done. So now we'll go on to making the petals. Okay, so now we'll take our Curie. It's called Curie. It's our yellow. And make our petals. Of course, I'd really like to make one with a yellow middle and different colored petals and see what it looks like. I hadn't yet, but I need to. So you're going to take your yellow. And you're going to make a knot and chain seven. I like to go ahead and tidy and make a double knot, make sure it won't come out because I don't want it to come out and come loose. So we want to chain seven. Another seven. And now you're going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook. And you're going to double crochet in each chain until your very last chain. Your last chain, you're going to do three double crochet in. Okay. And you're not going to turn it and work it back down this way. You're going to kind of go and you're going to go down the other side like this. Well, that's not. Okay, so this first stitch over here, right there, you're going to do two double crochet in and I like to kind of pull my tail over and kind of weave it in as I crochet down this and then you're just going to crochet in each stitch chain down the side here I like to keep my tail laid down so it'll kind of self weave it in Some more. Okay, two more. Like that. Okay, so there's round one. So now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn it. You're going to double crochet in the next five stitches. There's two, three, four, I think it's gonna be yarn, and five. So now what you're going to do. So, oh, double crochet in five stitches. Now we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, a treble crochet, and a double crochet on that next stitch. Double, do the treble, and then a double. The next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. And then you're just going to double crochet in each stitch back down the side. So it's real easy. 
and you'll have to make eight of these petals. So. Almost there. So I've done. So you see there how he lays. And so now what I'm going to do to make it easier, stitch on or sew on to the deal. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to evenly place six single crochet across the bottom because this is where we're going to sew them together. So I'm going to do six, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm just going to cut the yarn. You need to make sure and leave a very long, good sized tail because I'm going to sew them on. And then I'm going to stitch their, um, I'm going to show you how to stitch their petals kind of together so they don't flop. So you want to leave a pretty good size tail and just there. So there is tail number one. And you must, now you need to repeat that and make eight petals. So you need to make seven more. And then I'll show you how to stitch them together. Now that um, you've made your eight petals, I'm going to show you all how to attach them to the um, middle of the flower and to secure the petals. So I'm going to take one, get the other ones out of the way, get it, and I'm going to put it on my yarn needle. So I'm going to get my end here. In. Okay, so I'm going to take my middle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start it this way. And I'm just going to start stitching it. I'm just going to start, you can start anywhere around the flower, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick a stitch and just start on the first stitch there with the tail and just start stitching it on. And I'm just going to continue to do that in each stitch for the flower. around just each stitch just keep continuing to stitch it together last one Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knot it. Back here, I'm going to knot my yarn. But I'm not going to cut the um, end. I'm not going to weave it in and cut it yet because I'm going to later use it to stitch the two um, petals after I sew them together. Stitch them together. So you're just going to weave the end in. I'm sorry, you're going to make a knot. I'm going to go ahead and knot it. And I'm just going to take it off my yarn needle. I'm going to leave it and work on sewing another petal on. So just make a knot and leave it. Then we'll get another petal and attach my yarn needle. And we're going to sew him up too. And what I normally do is about three stitches. You see three stitches in, I start sewing him on. So one, two, three. So I usually like from the third one. And poke them up. See the third one, poke them up. Grab that first stitch. And then grab the second one there. The second stitch. See, and then it'll make it kind of overlap and overlay on that a little bit. So, because it looks prettier like that with the more petals on it. So. I think the more petals, the prettier. Okay, and then we'll just continue. Stitch them on. Like so. Last 
next one. We'll go ahead and go through that one again, push to the back. Okay, and like I said, you're going to just make a knot and not weave in the end or cut it. I'm just going to make a knot here with it and leave the tail on. So now I have two petals on. See, so it'll start to come around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I attach. So I'm going to take the end from the first petal and put it on my yarn needle. And so the first petal we attach, I'm going to fold the other one in front. Because if I don't kind of stitch them together, you see how it's just going to flop. You can always tell it just flop and it won't be as sturdy of a washcloth or even a pot holder, whatever you want to use it for. So I fold the other one in front of it and I'll take this, you see where it's attached, and just go on the stitches and I'll just loosely pull it around these stitches like this. It takes probably about five or six stitches up before I'll attach the other one to it. So you don't want to be real tight. You don't want to cause it to curl up. Just real gently and loosely. Okay, and then what I would do when I get where I want to get, however half far, it depends on wherever you want to stick it together. I then want to think about one, two, three, four, five stitches up. So just take it, poke it through the stitch over here. And then we'll go back through that stitch, poke it back to the back. And see? And then it won't be floppy. See that it's sewed down, so it's more sturdy. So I'll take it back here, go and knot it, and weave this end in and cut it. That and then I'll weave this end in however you weave your ends in. Everybody probably does it different, I'm sure. I'll cut that end off. And we got our two pails so together. So now we're just going to repeat that around. I'll do one more to show y'all guys. Make sure I got the hang of it. Get another petal. So like I said, third stitch over, I'll attach my um, each new petal. So there's my third stitch. Go and do it like there. Second stitch. Last stitch. It's here. And then just keep continuing to stitch them together. Okay, I'm popping back through. I'm going to tie it, make a knot. Remember not to cut the yarn. I'm going to take the tail from the previous petal. And then you'll take it like the other one. I'll go loosely up these stitches.
that. I think earlier I went up, I think I said five. Okay. Then I'll climb down, pick up the jar stitch there like that. Knot him. Like that. And I'll knot it here in the back. Just a stitch to pop it around. And I'll weave him in and cut it off. And just continue to do that all the way around till you have all your petals on. You know, your last one will lay kind of over him. So he'll kind of be under both of them. But it'll be okay. You won't really be able to. Once you get the petals on, you won't be able to tell. So, and that's how easy it is to do that. And when you get done, he'll look like that. Pretty sunflower. So, I hope all y'all guys enjoy this pattern. Be sure to subscribe to my blog for new patterns. Um, so, you'll get an email when that, they come out. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials when I... Um, time to post them and be sure to follow me on social media. Bye guys!